Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good day to the chairperson and all the audience. My name is Nadia Tulhuda Zulkifli from School of Electrical Engineering, UTM School Dai Johor. And today I would like to present our research entitled Factors Influencing the Teacher's Continued Intention to Adopt VLE of Virtual Learning Environments in Malaysian Schools. So um, the member of this research project is uh, Dr. Lukman Hakim Satiman from Azman Hashim International Business School, UTM. Okay, this is the outline of my presentation. First, I will start with some background information on VLE and theoretical framework. And then this is followed by hypothesis development, looking at the technological, organizational, and external context. And then finally, I will conclude my talk. So the rapid progress of information technology has affected the way humans interact with each other. This progress has become one of the key issues in education, especially in the school institutions. This involvement also affected not only the students, but also to the teachers who play crucial roles in order to ensure students can learn efficiently and effectively. So in response to this issue, the Malaysian Ministry of Education has conducted a comprehensive review of the education system in 2011 to develop a new education blueprint. The blueprint, which is also known as the Malaysian Education Blueprint or MEB, is a comprehensive plan for a rapid and sustainable transformation of Malaysian education system for the next 13 years between 2013 to 2025. The establishment of the One Way Study Net project is one of the many initiatives identified under the MEB's first wave in order to ensure that one best study net becomes the catalyst of for ICT innovation in education in Malaysia. With an estimated cost of 1.5 billion ringgit Malaysia, this initiative made the nation one of the primary within the world which provide internet connectivity to all the schools with 4G high-speed internet through virtual learning environment platform, the FROG VLE. However, due to a number of serious drawbacks in FROG VLE, especially on its implementation, such as for service and system quality, MOE decided to terminate the Frog VLE platform and replace with Google Classroom. So around this time, end of 2019, COVID-19 struck the whole world, which led to unprecedented challenges to the Malaysian education system. So unexpectedly, COVID-19, a type of coronavirus, shook the whole world at the end of 31st, um, at the end of 2019, when WHO received information regarding the sudden rise of pneumonia-related death in the city of Wuhan, China. COVID-19 is a novel uh, virus-based pandemic which has affected almost every aspect of human life globally, including education. As a result, the use of virtual learning environment during COVID-19 pandemic in particular has become a necessity. Although VLE is not new to the students and teachers, Due to COVID-19 pandemic, the implementation of VLE brought several new challenges for them. This is because a series of school closures due to movement restriction order has forced the teachers to conduct teaching and learning through online fully. However, the extent to which teachers have adopted VLE and which factors are most influencing the continued intention to adopt VLE remain unknown. So the objective of this conceptual study is to provide a conceptual framework in investigating the factors that most influence the continued intention to adopt VLE among teachers in Malaysian schools. Okay, VLE is among the top technologies adapted by many educational institutions, especially during COVID-19 pandemic. Generally, generally VLE is a platform for teachers, parents, and students to communicate with one another and share learning resources. It's defined as a cloud computing uh, virtual learning environment and communication platform that resembles the traditional classroom in all aspects and enables teachers and students to access, safe retrieve and sharing instru instructional resources anytime, anywhere on the cloud without storage limitation. Various VLE platforms that are currently being adopted and used in many institutions include Google Classroom, Frog VLE, and more do and blackboard. So the conceptual framework for this study was developed based on TOE framework proposed by Tonatsky and Fisher in 1990. 
So the framework was built on the basis that decision to adopt innovation are influenced by three contextual perspective, the techni technological context, environmental context, and organ organizational context. For instance, if an organization receives support from top management, a determinant from organizational context, the possibility of the organization to adopt innovation becomes high. Flexibility of TOE framework is its key strength, which provides general classification of determinant factors for the study proposed. The specific variable based on unique characteristics of a school institution in Indonesia and the factors surrounding it. The study also responded to the call by Hugh and Kadir 2017 to examine the effects of TOE framework on teachers' acceptance of VLE. Although there are many studies addressed the adoption of VLE in the, in the literature, very little attempts have been made to use TOE framework as the underpinning theory. The trend is predictable as most of the prior studies focus on the individual level analysis rather than organization. These individual-based studies also targeted teachers' perception and behavioral attitudes where any teachers can be the unit of analysis. Meanwhile, at the organizational level, the measured variables not only on the characteristics of VLE, such as relative advantage, compatibility, and observability, but also organizational context, such as school support, and environmental context, such as government support. For this reason, only IT teachers who are in charge of VLE in schools will be the respondents for the survey. <clears throat> the commonly used theories used in prior studies to understand technology adoption at the individual level include TPB, Theory of Planned Behavior, the Technology Acceptance Model, um, Channel Expansion Theory, and the Unified Theory of Acceptance and Use of Technology. While these theories do make significant contributions to the literature, it's important that scholars begin to examine the influence of TOE on the adoption of VLE. In specific, this study adopted TOE frameworks as the underpinning theory in order to investigate the determinants that may influence the continued intention of teachers to adopt VLE in school institutions. Okay, this section we discuss the research frameworks and hypothesis development based on technological context, organizational context, and environmental context. First is a relative advantage. It's defined as the degree to which the current innovation is superior than the prior innovation. School institutions in Malaysia had used Frog VLE before, shifting to Google Classroom. Prior empirical studies showed that the likelihood of adopting new technology by organizations increased when they perceive that technology has more benefits than existing practice. There are various sub-dimensions of relative advantage, which this include time saving, profitability, social prestige, and low initial costs. However, in the study, the expected benefit of VLE may include the following. Easy to use, safe time and paperless, free to use platform, flexibility, mobile friendly and facilitates collaborative learning. Previous study showed that the relative advantage has significantly influenced the intention to adopt massive open online courses, MOOCs and podcasts. So based on the above explanation, the following hypothesis is developed and will be tested, which is relative advantage significantly influenced the continued intention to adopt VLE. Okay, uh, the second is compatibility. It's defined as the degree to which VLE is perceived to be consistent with the potential user's existing values, precious, uh, previous practices, and current need. When we talk about uh, existing value of the teacher due to the development of ICT, almost all of the teachers have awareness about technologies and value it as one of the tools to improve effectiveness and efficiency of teaching and learning. At the same time, the usage of Google Classroom, which is quite similar to um, Frog VLE, might influence the teacher's intention to adopt VLE. In addition, with the current COVID-19 pandemic, the usage of VLE becomes more crucial. Therefore, the study argued that the teachers are more likely to adopt VLE because it's been compatible with existing values, previous practice, and current need. Prior empirical research found that the compatibility was a significant predictor of inf inf to influence the adoption of VLE and also e-learning. Thus, the study proposed that compatibility significantly influenced the continued intention to adopt the VLE. As for observability, it is the degree to which the results 
of an innovation are visible to others. It has been asserted that when a technology is more noticeable, it will be more likely to be used by a person. In the same way, organizations also tend to adopt technology that is more observable and widely used. Observability also depends on the nature of an innovation, where some innovations may be difficult to be observed, such as technology software that is observed differently than the hardware devices that are more tangible. Observing others successfully using a new innovation also will increase confidence on it, which will increase the chance of both individual or organizations to adopt the innovation. Many studies has reported significant relationships between observability and adoption and implementation of technological innovations. So based on the above arguments, the following hypothesis can be proposed. Observability significantly influenced the continuing intention to adopt BLE. Okay, um, as for technological infrastructure, it's defined as the combination of physical devices such as computer and networking hardware and various software and network components required for the existence, operation, and management of an ICT environment. Previous studies found that inadequate number of computers, slow access to fraud value applications, and internet access problems were among the infrastructure problems faced by the Malaysian school institutions. This finding is also consistent with another studies by Chok and Wong, 2017, which also found that nearly all teachers complain the poor internet connection and facilities as the greatest barrier in implementing BLE. Insufficient number of working computers to make e-learning possible during teaching and learning period compared to the large number of students still remains a significant challenge. This problem is worsened during COVID-19 pandemic where majority of students from lower income families did not have computers or smartphones in addition, limited coverage of internet access and slow internet connection were also among the major barriers in the adoption of VLE. So based on the above explanation, the study proposed technological infrastructure significantly influenced the continued intention to adopt VLE. As for school support, it can be defined as the degree to which a teacher observed the commitment from school administrators in ensuring a successful implementation and use of VLE. It has been argued that because of VLE is often introduced at a very fast pace, teachers require extensive support and guide on how the system is to be used. Therefore, when the teachers believe that the organization would continue to provide all requirements for technology adoption, it likely will influence the teacher's continued intention to adopt VLE. Prior empirical research found that the school support was a significant predictor influencing the adoption of VLE. Therefore, the study proposed that school support significantly influence the continued intention to adopt VLE. On the other hand, technical support is defined as procedures and approaches followed by schools to ensure seamless and continuous access to VLE. This support includes providing a reliable technical infrastructure, offering user-friendly VLEs, ensuring continuous access to the VLE for teachers and students, running 24-7 um, help desks to provide technical support, running units for educational multimedia, multimedia production, and offering facilities to encourage participation in e-learning, such as tablets, laptops, and computer labs. Allocating IT technical teams to provide technical support will allow the school teachers to concentrate on pedagogical issues rather than technical issues. Technical support gives users the sense of safety in technology usage. On the contrary, the lack of technical support will lead to a failed technology adoption. Therefore, the study proposed that technical Technical support significantly influences the continued intention to adopt VLE. Finally, um, the environment, environmental context is mainly on the government support. It's defined as financial backing and encouragement and regulation that are received from government in relation to the adoption and implementation of technology. The support can be in the form of investment in infrastructure where countries like Japan, Malaysia, and Singapore, um, the Technology adoption rate in these countries is high due to the government investment in technology. This has given support to the argument that government support has influence on technology adoption. This can be achieved by making good policies, providing necessary finance, investment in technology, and providing needed infrastructure to ease smooth implementation. As stated earlier, internet services and technological infrastructure are facilities that are essential for seamless value adoption and usage, which demand for a strong emphasis in Malaysia. Nevertheless, with government support, these issues can be fixed in order to ease the adoption of VLE. 
Lie and Lie 2013 found that the government support significantly influenced the intention to adopt electronic school, box, school bags. Therefore, this study proposes that government support significantly influence, influences the continued intention to adopt BLE. So based on the previous empirical and theoretical research and also justification from literature findings, we propose the model, which includes three independent variables and one dependent variable. So the independent variables are technological context, organizational context, and environmental context. So they are directly linked to the continued intention to adopt VRE within the Malaysian school environments. So this study is not without its limitations. The constructs suggested in this study may be limited to the adoption of VRE in Malaysian school institutions. There could be other possible factors that might be different in other countries. The study does not differentiate VLE adoptions between Malaysian schools in the city and rural areas. Schools that are located in the rural areas by the nature and locality possess certain characteristics compared to the schools in the city, which include resource limitations such as internet services and less influenced by external pressure. Thus, issues surrounding VLE adoption in rural areas could be different from city schools. To conclude, the significant contributions of TOE framework and the in understanding the adoption of various technological innovation at the individual level and organize, organizational levels have been demonstrated. However, literature review in VRE shows scarce evidence in the terms of TOE framework application. So this study, while this study is certainly not exhaustive of all factors, it provides a good start by adding new knowledge, by introducing several variables that may influence the teacher's intention to adopt VRE. The study also improved the knowledge related with the factors that drive VRE adoption in the Malaysian schools institutions. Okay, that's all uh, my presentation for today's session. Thank you very much for your kind attention. And now I would like to open for the Q&A and feedback session. Thank you. <laughs>